Hi everyone, today I'm going to make a video to show you how to draw this pawn of a chess um, set. So it's not a difficult thing to do, it's just here and there there's a few difficulties with the circles and how to place them on the peon. So to start with we're going to get the height of the peon, it's 60 indicated on this drawing. So all I did was I went onto the internet and typed in chess piece to draw and I got this drawing. So we're going to use this um, to draw the 2D of the 3D peon that we're going to use. So to start with I'm going to draw a line by typing L enter, click any start point and the length of this line is going to be 60 millimeters. So the next step is to get the width of this peon and as you can see it only indicates this 26 and it's not the complete width of the piece so we're going to have to calculate what the exact width of this is. So as you can see this piece, this piece is going down, that is 2 millimeters. So this is a 45 degree angle as indicated here. So we can assume that that is also 2 millimeters. So the total width of this is going to be 30 millimeters. So I'm going to draw a line with L enter, type in 30 for my distance. And so the next step is to start putting in the height of the peon. So the first piece, the bottom piece here, it's going to be 3 millimeters high. So I'm just going to use that bottom piece that I've drawn and just copy it up by 3 millimeters. So just select that C, O, enter and type in 3. And the next one, as you can see, it's going to be 2 millimeters. So I'm going to copy that up as well with C, O, enter, copy it up by 2 millimeters. The next height that they give us is 8.97, so copy again, 8.97, enter, and then it's 1 millimeter, CO, enter, 1, and CO, enter, 2 millimeters, sorry I went into a circle command. 2 millimeters and then there's the big height of 24.6 so CO enter 24.06 and the next height is gonna be 3.26 3.26 and the final height is going to be 3.26 you just copy that line with C O enter doesn't want to go into the circle command so I select the object C O enter just give it a chance to go into that command instead of the circle command it's 15.71 so as you can see the height is exactly what they gave us in the drawing it's 60. So to start with I'm gonna draw this top circle. So I'm gonna go into C enter click that as a center point and use the radius of 9 or you can type in D enter and use the diameter of 18 to get that circle size. Then I'm gonna move it into place which is the very top of that measurement of 60 that we put in in the start so i think the easiest way would be to start at the bottom so i'm gonna draw my two millimeter line and my polar tracking is set to 45 degrees and you can right click on that to change the degrees that you want but mine is already set to 45 degrees and i'm just gonna draw a 45 degree line so I can remove this line because I've already used that height. 
So the next line that we're going to use is going to be this 26 millimeters. So I know that point is the start point of the 26 millimeters. And type in 26. And now I can delete this line as well. So up from this, it's going to be 8.97 with a circle insert of with a radius of 6, um, six millimeters. So I need to get the width of this line. Now indicated on this, it's 20 millimeters. So I'm going to go to the line command and draw a line of 20 millimeters. And then I'm just going to take the center point of this line and move to the center point of the height that I've already indica indicated. Now I can delete this line. So as you can see, there is a circle that needs to be inserted here with a radius of 6 millimeters. So to do that, you're going to go into the circle command. Then you're going to type in 3P to indicate you want to use three points to draw the circle. And my start point, the second point, and now we want to put in the diameter of the circle. And it's indicated, or the radius is indicated as 6. So the diameter is going to be 12 millimeters away from the other two points. So as you can see, it has inserted the, the circle as indicated. So now you have to trim away the extra lines and delete whatever's left. Now you can see it's the exact same type of circle. So the next is a one millimeter line up and you can delete that height as well because you've already used it. Now we want to use the width of this. We've already indicated the height. So the width of this is going to be 16 millimeters as indicated with this dimension. So I go into line, type 16 for millimeters and move it to the center of the height line that I've already drawn. Now I can delete that line. So now we have to put in a circle again with a radius of 2 millimeters as indicated. So we go into the circle. Type in 3P, enter, select those two points and a radius of 2 is going to be a diameter of 4 millimeters and hit enter. Now you can trim away the extra pieces with TR, enter. And you can see it overlapped a bit, so you have to clean up all the lines and make sure you have only left what you need and now you can delete the remaining piece of the circle so the next step is this big circle the inverse circle as shown here but I don't have a top point this point over here so I can what I can do is I can use the height line that I've already drawn and just put in the 10 millimeter diameter so I'm going to draw a line of 10 millimeters and I'm going to move it to the center of my height line now I can delete that line and I'm left with two points and a third is going to be the length of the diameter of that circle so you can go into circle again by typing C enter or going up here to the circle command and type 3P to use three points. So there's my first point, second point, and it's going to be a hundred diameter. And then I have to trim away the excess that I don't need and delete what is left. So the only thing left to do is the circle over here, the one with the two millimeter radius so I need to get two points again and I've already drawn this height so it gives me this point and that point so I can go into circle again by typing C enter and 3P for three points so there's my first point there's my second point 
and the diameter is going to be four millimeters and I can trim away the extra and delete what's left that I don't need and I can delete this height line but before I do that I'm going to trim this top circle as well with TR enter trim that circle delete and delete this line now I can delete all the height lines that I've used just use this one to keep a center point and trim and trim half of I'll just draw a line first to trim with now I can trim half of the circle by TR enter and in the AutoCAD 2022 and 2021 if you type in the trim command it already selects everything I know in the older versions you had to select what you wanted to trim you can do use it the same but then you have to select the objects before you go into the trim command but I prefer that it selects everything so I don't have to be picky about what I want to use so the next step is to turn this into a 3d so that's very easy you select all the lines you've just drawn type in J enter to join all the lines because we're going to make a solid instead of just a face and the next step is to go to your uh, revolve function or command select what you want to revolve select a center point now, as you can see I've kept my center points in line because otherwise it's going to create a face instead of in a solid so I've clicked there and I can keep the default at 360 and then it rotates a full 360 degrees and as you can see you now have a chest piece that you can use in one of your presentations or you can draw a full chest set I am gonna make a video where I draw chest board and also other pieces of a chest board so that you have a complete chest board but the idea is not to draw a chest board only the idea is to get some training in 2d and 3d using AutoCAD so I hope this video helped you and solve one a problem that you have and I'll see you next time. So thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.